Hi and welcome to another devlog video for Gladiator Hoppers. So I thought I'd start making these videos again and this time focus on the making of the career mode which will be coming in a future update. I had already started working on the career mode last year if you remember seeing those videos but since I released the game I received so many positive reviews and so much positive feedback that I thought that I really want to make this career mode the best it can get and I needed to restructure some things and basically what I want to do is to give the player a reason to come back to the game which right now is missing. So I'm gonna take a little bit more time to create a career mode that is properly structured and that is worthwhile to play over and over and over again. I'm not yet 100% sure how to do that so that will be a topic for a future devlog but the idea I had for the career mode before was a very simple idea and right now I feel like I want to change it, I want to make it a little bit more complex and I basically want it to be an immersive experience. I guess that's the word I'm gonna use as a guide for everything I make in the career mode, immersion. So for me personally, I prefer games that have a lot of immersive elements in them, such as you know, storytelling, not necessarily dialogue, but the way the game is made, the way you progress through the game, the environments, the UI, all these uh, storytelling elements that really add to the immersion of the game. So that's what I'm gonna try to keep in mind while developing this new career mode. So that brings me to what I've been working on lately. Now in Gladiators, the thing you do is fight. And right now that's the only thing you do. And with the new career mode, that's more or less the only thing you'll still be doing, but there will be a little bit of character building on the side as you upgrade your character character and you get new equipment and so on. But the main thing you'll be doing is still fighting. So what I've been working on is a new enemy script because the old enemy script was very basic and the enemies kind of behaved in the same way all the time. But what I want to do now is to have more variety not only between the fights but also within a single fight. So let me explain a little bit what I mean by that. So the enemy script that I've made now consists of three checks. A behavior, a movement and an action check. The behavior check is basically just a function that runs regularly to see if there are any immediate things that the enemy needs to be aware of. For example, if the health is low, if the player is attacking him or things like that. This behavior check will override and postpone the other check. So if the behavior check doesn't find anything to correct, then the enemy will just take the movement and action decisions based on simple things such as the world position of the enemy, the distance to the player and so on. But combine this with something that I've also added, which is an intelligence and an aggressiveness variable. And here's where I can start to modify the way the enemy behaves. So the intelligence is more or less a difficulty variable that determines things such as a reaction speed, and basically the chance that an enemy will perform the smartest decision in a certain situation. So obviously in the career mode, the enemies will become more difficult the more the player progresses. The aggressiveness variable will work in a slightly different way. So the behavior check will actually alter the aggressiveness variable depending on what things happen during the fight. So this means that an enemy could start out with a very low aggressiveness and playing in a very defensive way, but if he starts losing, the behavior check will tell the enemy to become more aggressive and therefore the enemy will start attacking more and taking more risks. I'm actually not sure if an enemy should become more or less aggressive when losing so let me know what you think about that in the comments but yeah that's basically how I'll be able to create a little bit of variety during each fight because the enemies will start acting differently depending on their original aggressiveness setting and then during the fight depending on what happens things will just hopefully turn out in different ways but anyway that's how it should work in theory I will have to wait and see how this actually works in practice I still haven't really implemented basically the rest of the career mode so I don't know how this is gonna work once the player gets more upgrades and starts to progress during the game I have to tweak the difficulty setting a little bit then so that's basically it for this video I know it wasn't very much information right now but I'm still kind of thinking how to make the career mode more interesting than my original idea that I had for it and I would love to hear your suggestions if you have any so just let me know in the comments below and with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.